please welcome the DHL Stormers. On Mike, I want to start off with the individual who guided these gentlemen, these young minds of rugby talent. We have none other than Coach John Dobson right next to me, a.k.a. Dobbo, a.k.a. Champion, a.k.a. <laughs> Somebody who didn't touch us, not even a beverage at the after party, nothing. Just so, <laughs> so, just relaxed. It is like <laughs> it's rich coming from Carl Wester, do oh, we? <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the last time you saw him? Where's the history? Yeah? Uh, uh, no, well, just, hold, just hold, hold up for a second because can I tell you that it was a, it was a lovely evening. There was just a, it was nice and, and, and quiet after the game. I nicely went home. It is like that. At okay. what time did you go home? <laughs> okay, give us the mic this. Just, 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 just give him a mic this. Sorry. We just had some tea together. Yes, we had tea. Yeah. It was nice. It was uh, nice. And Thank the you. The sun was coming up over. Um, there was no su- I don't know what you're talking about. It was a very, very chilled and relaxed evening. It was fine. Uh, but, but, coach, congratulations. Thanks, cool. I, I need to just get serious for a moment yeah. because things are going to get pretty wild soon. Uh, but... I, I want to say congratulations because against all odds, there were so many things, so many things in the press that was going on, uh, so many moments where I thought, come on now, how do you keep the morale up? I don't know how you did it, but you did it. And it was, it was such a beautiful moment when I saw that happening because do you know that your emotions was like the highlight? Whenever a game happened, the first half, you look like you've run a race of 25 kilometers and then the game's finished and you've won. So... How did you do it, coach? <laughs> Look, I, I could be flippant and say um, yeah, the first half was tough. Uh, halves are tough because of what they get, the rubbish they get up to. But uh, you know, they, they invent stuff. We train stuff in the week, and then they're on the field and they do their own. No, but that, no, but that aside, it's a remarkable group of players who wanted to do something special. I mean, I could yeah. sell whatever vision I had or we had, and I think people forget. I'm getting a lot of credit now, and as much as the coaches, I'm just the front man of the band of the coaches and that staff. Ooh. You know, I'm the I'm Mick Jagger. They <laughs> Keith. No, no, I'm Keith Richards, but I sing. <laughs> but uh, no, but I'm, I'm not being. F- but I'm. It is. I'm just. Th- so that's the head coach gets the credit. Yeah. But ask these guys. A remarkable sport and coaching staff. Darby, Norman, Rita, all those guys behind. But we saw this vision of getting Cape Town smiling, and like uh, Ruan across the road, one of the champions of it. What Achievers doing this week, which we I'm sure you'll get to. Yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> to get Cape Town. You know, sorry, I one very short moment, Carl. But that on the somebody showed me. Now, I wish I had the, some footage of some farm workers yeah. on the back of an open truck in the Duins coming to the. They Western wearing black bags and anoraks. They're on an open truck. It's raining in the Duins. They've got a sign that says "Go Stormers." Some yeah. farmer or community leader has, has bought them tickets, and they're coming to the game Aww. on an open truck in the rain. And then I think, Jeepers, this is what it's about. Uh, and yeah. that's what these guys are bought into, and that's why they play and never died. You, you, know? you brought a you brought a city, a province. You brought supporters together. You brought people together. And sport, the whole purpose is to bring us together. Yeah. From different backgrounds, these guys yeah. come and they put themselves on the line and they fight like brothers. And I think that's the most important thing. Absolutely, it's exactly what they do. They decided to do it, and I'm incredibly. I'm so grateful to them. We we are. It's on me. It's 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 so good, and I know that there are opportunities for you to be a part of the action. And when I say action, mm-hmm. let's chat to Ruanal for a second. Welcome in a long time, eh? Yeah. Hey, it's been like a, a beautiful time where I saw you. It's like it's always a sevens thing, but now it's a DHL Stormers thing. It's a lot of things. But you're just a champion in your own right, which is fantastic. But, uh, you know, this whole tour, there's a lot of meaning behind it. What, what did it mean to you to win something that is a URC championship? Yeah, thanks, Cole. It's, it's, it's incredible. Um, you know, I was saying a bit earlier, um, you know, Brocky was playing in that 2010 final, uh, final in, in, yes. in Soweto. Yeah. And I was at that game watching that game, and I was still at, you know, a, a young boy and never my wildest dream could have imagined that I would be part of the team you know with him winning the first uh, international competition for the Stormers you yeah. know and, and here we are today but I mean you know buying into the vision that Dobber put in place actually in 2020 before COVID hit you know and that actually the fruits or actually the hard work that we've been putting in from then is only showing now you know so to have been part of that you know and you, uh, Dobber just spoke about you know our diversity you know and I, I, I firmly believe you know that the team strengths yeah lies in our diversity the fact that we're so diverse you know i don't think if you look at us from an outside playing perspective you can exactly this is what the stormers do you just don't know what we're going to do and I, I think that was 
what was so special this season you know it's, yeah. it, it was just incredible <laughs> to be a part of you know it's yeah it's like Dobbs says you train something in the weekend we just do something opposite <laughs> on the weekend so um, but no, no, yeah no, no, it's, we, it's incredible we could tell in the first half <laughs> <laughs> don't worry <laughs> we could tell things change but it's all right uh, I do want to address something that is uh, it's really taken the headlines and I know the, the championship title is, is phenomenal the trophy is here in studio but there was a gentleman who was who was crazy enough to to wear his kit until he met somebody famous. He met either the president or the mayor of Cape Town, Achiva Diamania. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> no, no, how I'm doing. He's still in his kit. How does he smile, man? Like that kid's been on since Saturday. What's the vibe? It smells like victory. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Uh, so, uh, you know, apparently you, re you really want to wanna meet somebody, right? You really want to meet uh, be the mayor of the Cape Town or, of course, Cyril, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Okay. One of them. Um, hopefully, I'm meeting, but I'm actually meeting the mayor today. What? Yeah. You are actually meeting so the mayor. Just send me a number plates. I'll clear your fines. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take my number plate too? <laughs> that is brilliant. Okay, but no, it's. I feel like it's a good sentiment, of course. And you, you are gonna meet the mayor today, which is great. So you're gonna get a. I mean, what do you wear next? The same jersey. Uh, so you're not. So even no, so if you're going for seven days. Okay. Um, some people obviously said I must do like a South African tour. Yeah, you should. Work for another seven and then third and fourth seven. You should like actually just get the, the kid tattooed to your body. I feel like you need to just get a tattoo to your body. That I'll actually, way. I'll actually give credit to PLK. This kid lasts. Okay, Aww. good. Like well done. Advertising. <laughs> but I think, no, because the thing is, I, I think, and coach will share my sentiments. If you get the kid tattooed to your body, that way the sharks can't hit on you. So it makes sense. It, it's fantastic. Just like that. But we have a bunch of other, of, of other uh, the other players, of course, and I want to make sure that they are also well asked. Now, I would like... Uh, you to jump in with a question or two and I mean these questions are wonderful but I will repeat if you can't hear it on stage because you guys are just holding mics there but there were a few questions that came through I'm going to call them anecdotal questions because they came from all sorts of left right and center but for the uh, gents on stage I'll introduce them one by one in a second there were some questions that I'd like to to get answers to which is quite important so let me just go through because oh this is a great one now, I'm going to let you do, hear this. Hi, Carl. I would like to know, we already know Damien Willemse is Gaza and Warika Lant is Boogie. I would like to know which other interesting nicknames there might be in the Stormers camp. Thank you. And also, congratulations, boys. <laughs> well done. Well, just to echo that, and I think uh, if you don't mind, JJ, maybe want to take this one. Uh, they were mentioned, what are the other nicknames that are quite funny? in the DHL Stormers team. Any ideas there, um, JJ? Because uh, there's this Gaza, there's a, there's a bunch of different ones. Um, there's, there's, there's even... Uh, there's the even one that comes to mind is probably Dion Furi. Yeah? Um, it's called Pranas. Pranas? <laughs> I think that's maybe for obvious reasons. Pranas <laughs> Leister, <laughs> uh, Pranas. Okay, so Pranas. Um, yeah, that's probably the most Copa. obvious one. Pranas, is br that's perfect. Who is Copper? I heard there's a Copper in the team. I heard Copper too. You heard Copper? Yeah, I don't know. Well, oh. we, 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 we can't. It's one of them. I don't know which one, but we'll find that out soon enough. Also, another message that has come through over here is around... Oh, I love these. So this one is... Let me play this for you very quickly. My question is, who spends the most time in the shower? The most time in the shower? Brock, you can go for this one. Grab a microphone, my friend. Brock Harris, the legend. Well, he's still sitting in his kit, so <laughs> yeah, <it's> obvious. <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> Is it the soap in the change rooms, or what's what's the vibe? Why so long, and how long? Uh, yeah, there's actually. <laughs> Someone's uh, got I'm actually there for quite uh, quite some time. Um, actually, because I don't trust. Um, people when I take off my kit because last uh, last night I woke up and I couldn't find my kit and my girlfriend hid my kit and it's like it's done it's done uh. so I locked the door and I'm like no one's leaving until I get my kit and I got my kit so I'm here <laughs> <laughs> alright another question coming through from the floor who's got the worst music taste in the locker room the worst music taste in the locker room has come through uh, I'll leave this Andre there we go you got a microphone here. no I think there's Everybody has their own taste. Um, the worst, man. Come on, I, I want you to be shady. Go for it. Probably Evan, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Evan, Evan has some interesting taste in music. He can go from rock to techno 
Oh, Norman, eh? Norman was also like yeah. a little bit of a techno rave party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Norman and yes. Yavan, they enjoy the same things. I think Norman said he, one of his life goals is probably to go to Ibiza or something to join a techno rave party there. So, ah. Norman claims it, I think. Norman, okay, cool. Norman. By the way, I did not see Irvin at any tea party after the, <coughs> the win. I promise. Uh, Carl, you wouldn't remember. You wouldn't remember. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's no chance. <laughs> yes. I, I, was, I was just relaxing. It was good tea. Okay, it was very good tea. Let's let's give on to uh, this uh, Mr. Namakaba. Let's go for it over here. Grab the microphone, home slice. This is the thing, okay? Because we're homies now. When you party with people, you become homies. Besides rugby, what were you famous for at school? All right, besides rugby, what were you famous for at school? Talk to me now. Sure. Um, <laughs> to remain humble, but I was head prefect uh, in my school. Oh, excuse me! Oh! <laughs> is, is head prefect the same as head boy? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Head boy. Head copper. <laughs> Maybe it's not, I don't know, it could I be. I don't know. It's just, it's fine. I'm but you not Cooper, so <laughs> I'm, I'm scum. What? <laughs> no, you're not. You're a champion, that's what you are. Um, you know, there are, there are so many questions that have come through, and I, I love the interest as well, but I, I, I just want to... I just want to move on and just say that you, you gents are, are absolutely phenomenal. I know that there are, there are moments that I'd love to unpack. In fact, just for a second, um, the gentleman that N Nelly's got a song about this guy. Hey, must be the money. Money Lebok. <laughs> money. Um, there's a song about that. The drop, the drop kick. Okay. Can I just ask you something? You know that I saw Joel Stransky um, chilling. It wasn't at the after party. It was the one that the, uh, the first after party, I saw him there. And I said, like, obviously, money has been watching your tapes. And he said, no, this guy's a lot better. Uh, what do you think about that from a, from a legend like that? No, I think it's awesome to hear it from a legend like that. Um, <laughs> obviously, um, he's, he's known, he's, he's um, how can I say, famous for, for, for the kick in the 19, 1995 yeah. World Cup um, to, to win it for, for the country, the first one. So, yeah, for me, it's, 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 it's quite an honor to, to um, yeah. Yeah, from him. No, awesome, man. But thank you for the drop kick as well, because at that particular stage, I heard the crowd and in, in, in there was screaming and shouting with that. But there was just like a moment where we were just like, oh, my word. It was it was a relief moment. So so well done to you. Now, just to, to talk, let's go back to the field for a second. Uh, there were a lot of questions around now. You know what happens now after you guys are champions. Now there's a next step and I got a voice that came through. I won't play it, but it's just a, the next step now is that like a lot of clubs tend to start coming around and saying, hey, don't you want to play for us, etc. But there's something special about this team. So Junior, maybe grab the, you know, the, the mic here for a second and, and talk to me about the DHL Stormers. We spoke about the family a little earlier. What does this team mean to you? To be part of this team. Grab another mic. That, oh. one's, that, yeah, that one doesn't ha can't handle your radio voice. This one? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's, that's a, the ooh. one. Okay, that's Are you one, thinking man. about radio in the future? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you should. I'm struggling, man. I can't keep up with Achiever. Uh, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen uh, yeah. I'm so blessed, man. Um, I arrived in, I think, in October last year. Yeah. And just to play with these guys, man, it's been, uh, I'm truly honored, man. It's been special for me. Oh, man, that is fantastic. And I know we are going to celebrate as well on Friday from 11 a.m. There will be a parade, which is great. Also, tomorrow there's an opportunity to, to pose with this incredible trophy that you guys brought through here, which is going to be such an, an honor, I must just say. So I just wanted to say well done to the gents and thank you for coming in, being great sports, answering some very probing questions. The big question is I need you guys to decide which one of you will do traffic on the flash drive on KFM 94.5 in the next couple of Money. minutes. I will, I will make Brock, sure that Brock. they will sort it out, but make sure you see these guys, Brock. DHL Stadium, <laughs> maybe maybe the coach. We never know. Brocky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let them decide. Daniel Brock. Yes, okay, well, they're going to draw straws now, and we'll let them, and then, of course, we'll get a nice report, and you'll get a storm of a traffic report on the flash drive in KF94.5, but just one last time for these incredible gents, hands together to the DHL Stormers. Congratulations, boys. Yes! Let's hope they don't drop the ball with traffic. DHL Stormers champion Brock Harris on the mic. This is a special, special moment. Everybody's got their phones out. The coach is even watching, ready to assess the performance <laughs> of said traffic report. And just let me make you feel a bit more comfortable with this. Let me give you some sounds you know about. There you go. Absolutely beautiful <laughs> scenes here. At Eyewitness News traffic. Flash draft. KFM 94.5. <laughs> 
Beautiful scenes of Brock Harris about to do traffic. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Brock Harris, it's traffic time. Uh, on the R300 North, there's a pedestrian accident after the N2. The left lane is obstructed. Expect delays on the N2 outgoing from Robert Sibuque. On the M5 South, traffic is slow moving from the N1 to Cromboom Road. What? That was good. <laughs> what? That's it. Beautiful scenes here. Brock Harris, a traffic report. Absolutely amazing. Exclusive times here. Here at DHL Stadium. Beautiful scenes here. Well done. That was phenomenal, that Brock. Was Thank you so much. And congratulations <laughs> once again. This is The Flash Drive. It is KFM 94.5. The show that drives you home with the most music. The Flash Drive with Carl Wasty. Only on KFM 94.5.